as 520 earnings per cent score posted by Andrix Stock Broking. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode. And there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star and zero on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. In honor of the conference, we would like to mention from our from Antichrist Brokers. Thank you and over to you, sir. Thank you, Zain. On behalf of Antique Stock Broking, I would like to welcome all the participants on the call. From the management, we have Mr. J. Lakshman Rao, Chairman and MD of Moltec Packaging, on the call. Without further ado, I would like to hand over the call to Mr. Rao for opening remarks. Over to you, sir. Uh, good afternoon, everybody. Thanks, Manish. Uh, welcome to uh, the quarterly review of uh, uh, Q4 and the year-ending. Uh, March 31st, 2020. Uh, I am glad to inform you that, uh, in spite of uh, COVID impact in the last 10 days of the financial year, company could uh, give positive results in terms of uh, sales growth. is almost 12.62% uh, year on year. On the Q4, it is 9.41%. And uh, profitability at the PVT level has uh, dipped a bit because of uh, increased uh, costs of salaries and other uh, costs in the last 10 days of the year, which were not productive. So that has uh, marginally reduced the uh, PBT by about 7%. Uh, but thanks to the uh, reduced uh, incidence of uh, tax, uh, and there is an exceptional item last year uh, of, of REAK, uh, the net profit levels have shot up to 7.98 crores from uh, 1.94 crores last in the last corresponding Q4. Overall, year on year, uh, the profit uh, before tax and uh, before exceptional item has gone up only uh, marginally by 1% from 51.46 crores to 51.94 crores. But uh, due to reduced taxation and exceptional items of REK write off, uh, profit at the bottom line uh, the, after the tax. Is uh, gone up by 58 percent from 24 crores to 38 crores. So, actually, uh, the quarter would have been one of the best quarters, but for the last 10 days, loss of uh, complete operation, and the costs were incurred as the company paid the entire uh, salaries and other overhead uh, during the first lockdown. And later on, we could partially operate, uh, starting from May partially and uh, sorry april partially and may to almost 45 50 percent and june looks better than that but overall uh, the covid impact is uh, uh, really considerable uh, in the first quarter uh, numbers will uh, dip at least by 40 percent in uh, overall sales volume which would be uh, might pull us down into red after a long streak of uh, 15 years of continuous profitability quarter on quarter uh, this could be the uh, one bad quarter. But going forward, things may stabilize uh, is what I'm hoping. And the uh, company is uh, taking all the precautions regarding sanitization, distance maintenance, uh, right at the head office and even at the plants. And uh, now in June, all the plants are operating. Uh, in May, they were partially three plants have started. And uh, by middle of May, another uh, three, four plants also started. Now completed uh, from June 1st, all the plants are operative. Demand is uh, varying in different plants. And uh, currently in uh, May, uh, we have uh, around 44% capacity utilization overall. And that might go up in June to somewhere near 55 or even 60 if a few things fall in place. But for the overall, uh, including April, May, and June, uh, the capacity relation will be less than 40%, maybe 35%, uh, which will be below the break-even point. So this is the news as of now. Uh, but anyway, we all have the question and answers after the uh, after I put down my, I mean, complete this uh, introduction. And company is also planning to, uh, company has completely closed the REK write-offs uh, with 2.86 crores in the current year, completing the 
total losses absorption for the from the RAK plant. Uh, substantial amounts was taken last year itself. There is 11.5 crores, and this year it is 2.86, and uh, enough provisions have been provided to close the entire losses so that going forward, company will not have this uh, this burden. So that is as of now, and uh, regarding the question answers, I now hand over back to Manish. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we will now begin to the question and answer session. Anyone wishing to ask the question, please press star in one of the last on telephone. If you wish to remove your question question queue, you may press star and two. Participants will request the team answer for asking the question. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for the moment for the question to your center. The first question is in the line of Uncle Scott, from the manager, please go ahead. Thank you, sir. Uh, you know, my first question with respect to uh, pain segment, and we elaborately mentioned in our press release as well about the pain we are feeling in pain segment. But uh, you know, uh, what is your sense uh, when things will start picking up in, in particularly the pain segment, and and uh, you know what what sort of guidance Asian Paint is giving to suppliers like us? Uh, you know, if we can uh, then have. Oh, a few more questions, but yeah, if you can answer this. Yeah, I'm also more concerned about the paint industry because uh, the current uh, this year ended uh, almost 52.4% uh, of the sales have come from uh, paint industry, and mm -hmm. uh, paint being a discretionary use item, uh, it can wait uh, in the priority of consumers. Uh, you know, uh, consumption patterns. So there may be a fall in paint consumption is uh, everybody guessing. But uh, the industry leader Asian Paints has given us good uh, move both in May and April, though in April, sorry, April completely closed. Uh, May they have started taking some volumes. And because we are very proactive and able to supply them when our competitors are not in a position to do so, uh, they have given us a better part of the business both in April, May and June, indicated in June. So the numbers in June look at least normal, almost normal. But going forward, I don't think it will be the same because uh, other competitors who are, you know, generally Asian paint strategy is to buy from at least three vendors. So others also will up and running in June. So probably from July onwards, they may start uh, distributing the orders. So. Uh, I have to see till May or July to understand how their demand pattern emerges. Coming to the other players like Berger and uh, KNP, uh, the numbers are pretty low. In April and May, they're almost near to zero. Uh, and in June, they started picking up around one-fourth or maybe as of now, but probably they may start picking up. So the most impacted segment uh, in my opinion, out of all three loops, paint and FMCG, food and FMCG, would be paint. So because it contributes 52% of our sale, uh, we are a uh, little bit concerned how the numbers will emerge. But as of I, now, yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, please worry. Yeah, as of now, June looks okay, thanks to Asian Paint's uh, call-ups, which are... Um, Percentage-wise, we got more business from them. That's what I understand, but I don't have complete data. If the same trend goes, we'll be fine. I, at least we'll be normal, I would say, from July onwards. But if uh, this is a one-time up and then again things start uh, you know, coming down, in the, especially from the leader, uh, yeah. we could have some uh, pain uh, for a few more months. But in the worst case, do you, do you foresee that by 3Q... Uh, you know, we should come back to our normalized run rate of Q3, Q4, F520. Should we come back to so. those? In Q3, yes, certainly I'm confident because of the food and FMCG is uh, doing well uh, in spite of lo losing the entire ice cream business in the summer because our people uh, get ice cream to, you know, 
get us colds and viruses so uh, ice cream industry in particular in this summer has completely wiped off i would say 70 to 80% drop in uh, ice cream sales and mm-hmm. uh, some of the leaders also could not even lift uh, even 10 to 20% of their uh, regular requirements because uh, as a food packaging there is a uh, clearance from the government to supply those packs uh, other than uh, ice cream we could get all other food companies uh, food packaging uh, products we could sell but ice cream containers in this summer are completely wiped off so uh, but still we have managed to get a growth in uh, food even for this quarter and for the entire uh, uh, year we ended up with 18.51% uh, growth in in fmcg uh, it could have been better it could have been 25% like last year uh, but it didn't uh, because the ice cream season right from march middle has completely wiped off of course it impact will be felt in the q1 more mm-hmm. than the q4 of last year yeah. just trying to understand more about uh, uh, payment or receivables uh, we also heard a lot of uh, news about asian paying been delaying the the suppliers payment uh, what is uh, uh, it are overall outstanding to asian pain that's one and secondly uh, still we uh, work with lot of regional and smaller mid to small players how are our uh, you know receivables are with them and uh, when we are expecting to uh, to receive a big money if if, if we stuck there it is a real all our plants which come under categorized as smsc so those uh, industry they are not uh, delaying the payments only supplies from hyderabad we are it is a uh, medium or large uh, comes under so hyderabad sales are hardly 10% of our overall sales to asian pays so the rest of the small units which are kept near to them they are paying on priority just like the previous uh, payment terms so payment terms they were very open and intimated to press and everybody about their request for increasing the credit period but uh, towards the impact is hardly 10% so it doesn't really matter yes the, from the regional players and small marginal companies though we take advances though we try to take some kind of uh, pdcs when we supply to them there are few occasions where uh, i am noticing that some of them are turning bad or they are asking for more time but as a as you all know packaging is one uh, pro, uh, pro input which no company can avoid uh, if they want to distribute their products so the moment they need the they start their operations and go forward they would be again coming back to us because all the artworks all the plates and iml labels they are all already developed and with us and the containers and their uh, filling lines are all set together they won't be able to run away but there will be some delays in collections from these uh, uh, small and uh, marginal companies they are not many they contribute hardly 2 to 3% in our sales but there could be chances of uh, some of them turning back okay and in usually in 4q we receive a uh, uh, handsome discount from uh, our uh, raw metal supplier uh, did we get this time or it was it was in 3q itself no 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 we got the discount in the q4 as usual and uh, that has been already taken in the accounts uh, only some special uh, discount of uh, additional amount which they generally pay at the end of the year without any commitment that we still not heard any news from them we are asking them to pay it, but uh, as of now we have not received any confirmation and that is their discretion actually it's not a uh, uh, on black and white Uh, okay. on the agreement even that amount okay. is not substantial it would be around 40 to 50 lakhs okay thank you thank you the next question is from the line of koshal shah from dhanki securities private limited speed go ahead yeah uh, thank you sir for the opportunity uh, sir if you can uh, you know throw some more light on uh, the other two uh, segments uh, the lube segment and within the fnf uh, you know the other sub segments like edible oils etc um, where you are seeing some traction uh, which are the areas uh, you know just like you mentioned uh, ice cream any other areas which are kind of slow moving as of now 
or any other areas uh, which have seen some demand traction and which look to be uh, kind of uh, uh, you know some positive areas uh, so if you can just throw some more light on the sub segments uh, uh, in lube and in fnf yeah uh, in lube uh, the numbers are uh, improving from uh, may and maybe probably better in june but of course april is a dead month in all segments other than food uh loop is also almost zero in uh, in april uh only in may they started because once the movement of goods and uh, trucks started around the country uh, the lubricant demand also started picking up and uh, the numbers as of now are still far below say 20 25% below the normal but much better than paint as of uh, in may but in june i think paint might improve because of uh, as i said the leader asian paint is giving us a major portion of their business and uh, 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 that number can offset the loss in may to some extent but uh, in the lubricants uh, the demand it could be in the region of 10 to 15% in the first 6 months is my guess uh, because april one full month is already gone that itself is 15% for the first year first half 16% so yeah. that that will continue in the first year probably the second quarter we might get back to the numbers what we achieved last year the second quarter but the first quarter is completely wiped off so lubes is little better than paint uh, having started in may itself coming to fnd we have one big negative in ice cream sale being lost in uh, both april and may in june some companies are coming up but monsoon sets in uh, south so probably uh, that will be a blip in june and again from july that could go back but uh, i'm glad to inform you the edible oil segment is doing well because the concern for cleaner containers cleaner uh, way hygienic way of filling uh, robotics uh, manufacturing of the containers is now catching up in the among the uh, consumers and that is resulting in uh, higher volume of purchases in edible oil segment Uh, sir any uh, customers that, that you can share uh, you know no, if you have added them, now the names have gone beyond uh, 50 60 clients who are regularly buying and the numbers are i wouldn't say that they are far better than last year but definitely in the edible oil sector we are better than last year marginally even in the month of uh, uh, may and april june in april also they pulled because there is essential commodity we didn't stop supplies of edible oil in april if you ask me half of the sale in uh, april uh, uh, almost half has come from food and uh, sorry edible oil itself uh, almost 40% you can say so in may of course other segments also started but the numbers are still doing good and uh, june indications are also still better so edible oil area which we grew last year by 30 50% by 50% overall if not 50 probably it will grow at least 20 25% this year so that is one silver line in our uh, uh, products another uh, positive thing there in the same pack we are trying to sell it to sanitizers for bulk pack the 5 liter pack we are arranging a pump to the 5 liter pack and couple of uh, companies have shown interest and they are already launching in this month in june so pro- okay. it's not a big volume because the 5 liter is a bulk product which probably theaters and the big offices people might buy and keep it at the entrance for said sanitation yes, yes. so that application we our marketing has pushed last month and some success they are seeing but those numbers will be at you know a crore of uh, 40 50 lakhs per month kind of sale maybe a crore of rupees so it will hardly add 2 3% to the growth but these are the only two silver lines uh in the dark clouds otherwise dark clouds in all other segments uh food industry would have done better but for the ice cream being a big knockout uh edible oil is a saver and uh, application of uh, sanitizer for bulk pack uh, probably is a, a small addition these are the only two positives uh, we see in the next three months uh, right in the so we uh, uh, we we have been uh, trying to make some inroad into uh, you know some newer categories like detergents or agri uh, so any any uh, success there uh, which you can share uh, sir uh, we made any headway there detergents uh, that same square pack is uh, 
doing okay but again now people are uh, cost conscious uh, they don't want to spend even 3 4 rupees more per pack uh, and uh, i don't see new entrants uh, will increase those who have already shifted will certainly stay with us because they have already put it in the market but the new entrants who are about to take a plunge in march april might take some more time to shift so that uh, application wise i don't see a major growth uh coming from in the at least next 6 months uh we are now introducing the sweet packs the molds have come uh they will be launched sometime in july uh but again how the uh, market will take whether they will be able to shift from ordinary conventional packing to iml uh, sweet boxes is a, again a lingering doubt in our minds so we need to wait and see sure thank you sir thank you thank you a reminder to the participants anyone wishing to ask a question can please press star in one the next question is from the line of sonia v from equinox well please go ahead hello sir thank you for taking my question uh so my first question is related to two data pointers uh what is your break up of fixed cost and variable cost and secondly how much ice cream contributes to the snx uh, snx segment and my what is the second question second point is ice cream business contribution in food and fmcg segment okay okay and second question uh, is related to margin contraction uh generally uh, historically what have you seen like in such cases uh, in such scenario when there is economic slowdown uh, do you see uh, uh, your uh, clients or your customers squeezing your margins they are uh, asking you to work at lower margin because we are suppliers have you seen like this uh, historically okay uh, first i start with okay margin uh, contraction we do we are not entertaining any cost uh, price reduction uh, unduly just because uh, there is a reduced uh, demand for products uh, more or less the margins at the uh, top end remain same but the evita might come down because the capacity utilization might come down and the cost the fixed cost like manpower and uh, others will stay there uh, even there is a little reduction <coughs> small pay cut we have taken for the top managers uh the fixed cost will continue to stay more or less there so there won't be a reduction in the pricing that is for sure we are not offering any price reduction of any of our products neither uh, our clients okay. are not much pressure on that but overall margin con- contraction may come because fixed cost uh, stay there and uh, as a ebitda level you will still find uh, uh, the margins are under pressure okay and percentage of ice cream in a food and fmcg uh, actually out of the 101 crores we did this year i guess uh, it's a guess only because i don't have exact figures about 14 to 15 crores uh, last year we did that is the last april may june quarter itself we did almost 15 crores maybe during the remaining nine months we must have done around 7 8 crores so it is around 20 22% of our food and fmcg Uh, should have come from uh, ice cream so to that extent okay. uh, uh in april may june two thirds of it is gone so maybe a setback of 14 15 crores in the ice cream industry uh, in this year 2021 okay okay sir so in about fixed cost and variable cost break up yeah fixed cost uh, the variable costs are directly related to material that fortunately for us that itself contribute to more than 50% or uh, close to 50% of cost and consumables and other variables uh, cost around uh, put together consumables and raw material are about uh, 60% so 60% is a variable cost and almost uh, 40% is our uh, not 40% i would say uh, 10% profit margin if you take it uh, it's around uh, 30% is fixed cost. Okay, okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. The next question is in the line of Nasha Chaudhary from Systematic Chairman Stock. 
please go ahead hi thanks for the opportunity and congrats on a decent set of numbers sir uh, uh, i joined little bit late uh, just want to check if you shared the volume number of all these three categories sir uh yeah in the year i think uh, uh, march 31st uh, the in the full year we did about 52% 52% in uh, paint industry 25 around 25% in lube and around 23.1 in uh, food and fmcg as against 47.7 30.6 and 21.7 the last year so in the paint there is a big growth because of the new plants of uh, Wizag and Mysore contributed almost 14% to the top line uh, so that is why the paint segment grown from 47 to 52 lube has come down from 30% 30.6 to 25 uh, basically because of uh, uh, general re reduction in the lube consumption in the country food and fmcg has gone up uh, by almost 18.5% uh, uh as we have introduced more range of products and our uh, edible oil pack started picking up in this year uh, quite uh, handsomely the total turnover was uh, up to 36 crores as again as 24 crores so almost a 50% jump in q pack so that is how the year ended okay can you share the volume number of this quarter the total uh, volume sir uh, for this quarter alone, it is 55% paint, 22% lube, and 22.3% uh, food and FMC. You can say 55, 22 and a half, and 22 and a half. Uh, that is the breakup of revenue, right? Revenue, yeah. Turnover. In and, the yeah, yeah. And what is the volume of tonnage, sir? Volume tonnage for this quarter is uh, 59, 25, and uh, 16. Of a total of 100, 59%, 25%, 16%. No, in absolute uh, number, sir, how much in tonnage we... First uh, quarter, uh, this quarter you mean? Yeah, yeah. Uh, in rupees, it is uh, 59 crores, 23.5 and 24. 150. Wow. I am asking uh, uh, in terms of total tonnage, how much volume we sold in this quarter, sir? Okay. Not in, in this yeah. quarter, is uh, total consumption 6,170. In that okay. thing, 3,600. Okay. Around uh, 1,550. Food and FMC is about 1,000. Okay. So, um, by going with this calculation, and I have the last year uh, volume number. Uh, we have seen around 8 to 10 percent decline in our total uh, EBITDA per ton. And uh, was this because of the uh, increase in uh, revenue share of paint division? Or uh, is there any uh, other reason behind it, sir? Yeah, it's not 8 percent, uh, about 2 rupees 30 paisa on, uh, yeah, around 7 percent reduction in the EBITDA margin for the Q4. Is basically one of the reasons is that the paint is less contributing compared to the food and FMCG. Uh, growth in uh, food and FMCG is, uh, sorry, paint is much higher uh, due to the two plants of Asian paints uh, picking up steam in the last quarter, uh, Q4. But one of the reasons why the margins dipped a bit is also because we have uh, completely revamped the building uh, sheds and uh, you know, the mainly the old sheds of uh, Unit 1 at Hyderabad. We have revamped the roofing and uh, provided new electrical electrical lines and uh, changed the complete cabling uh, because they are more than 20, 25 years old. Uh, is uh, indirectly about a crore of rupees was spent on the such uh, building maintenance and mold maintenance also. Molds also were taken up for overhaul, assuming a huge demand in 2021 because the year was about to end and uh, uh, excellent note, but for the last 10 days lockdown, uh, we would have even looked at 18-19% uh, of uh, growth on the quarter, which ended up at 9.4%. Uh, so, keeping up with the trends and the increasing demands, we have taken up a lot of uh, mold revamps and uh, even buildings and uh, electrification revamps in the old units uh, in the last quarter of the year. So that uh, maintenance costs have gone up considerably to the extent of one crore so on a on a 
ten days of six thousand one hundred tons, it almost works out one rupee fifty paisa there itself. And of course, the last ten days, uh, fixed costs have to be borne, including the salaries are fully paid. Uh, uh, so that has also declined the margins. Otherwise, we would have maintained our uh, bracket of around thirty four rupees uh, per kg margins. This is uh, not because of any price reduction, only these couple of reasons. Uh, okay, actually, I was wondering because uh, uh, because uh, in the past we have guided the Wisec and uh, other uh, uh, new plant for train segment is uh, expected to contribute 34 to 35 rupees per kg EBITDA, and uh, in this quarter, despite of having a decent share and the volume of this quarter is quite similar to the last uh, uh, same quarter last year. Uh, there shouldn't be uh, uh, much impact uh, on the. Uh, no, uh, last the year actually there is a considerable uh, change. The food uh, contribution was, of course, twelve hundred and five tons. It's come down to thousand, and the paint contribution was two thousand seven hundred and fifty tons. Has become three thousand six hundred. So the shift in product mix was there to some extent, but the the margin reduction in this year in the fourth quarter. Is mainly due to the increase in maintenance cost and you know salaries and other fixed costs paid fully in March as against 20 days effective production. Okay, and this maintenance cost we take uh, entirely on PNL or do we uh, take it on balance sheet and then uh, capitalize no, over? No, 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 everything on PNL. Awesome. That's the, in this quarter it's uh, about 40 lakhs, but the full year it is more than almost a crore of rupees. Okay. Uh, secondly, sir, in terms of our pledge share, we had a uh, uh, target to you know make it zero by March 2020. But as of March, we still have five percent uh, uh, pledge shares, around 5.2 percent. So uh, oh, your comment. Are... One second. Let me see. They have come down considerably. If you notice. Uh, come down. Yeah, yeah, it has come down, but we had a target of making it zero. Yeah, it so some individuals are still carrying some uh, loans against the shares for their personal reasons, but none of the major funds are just taken. Uh, I have the details here. Okay. It is uh, one point four point five five percent. Yeah. Okay. Any comment on, yeah. on this? Four point five five percent of the. Promoter share, 1.8 percent of the overall company, which uh, some time ago it was close to 9-10 percent. So that's come down to 1.58 percent now. Only couple of individuals are having. This okay. And, uh, such a way. That's all. These two people have come in. So uh, can we uh, see this going down in coming quarter, uh, sir? See, it all depends upon the individuals, uh, but uh, I think they are also intending to reduce uh, their pledge. As at least one of them is going to do that, so it might come down below one percent within uh, this quarter, maybe. Okay. Uh, in terms of capex, have we uh, revised our capex plan for uh, uh, this financial year and uh, FY22? Yeah, FY22, I don't want to comment now because it's very uh, you know, unpredictable. Uh, for the year 2021, we are planning to uh, reschedule or rearrange our uh, capital layout uh, because we have about 5 crores pending amounts to be paid for the orders placed before uh, this COVID issue. Uh, so those have to be uh, completed in this year. Uh, we may defer our uh, North plant to some more months. We thought we will start by October, November this year. Probably that may not happen in this year. Uh, but we are finding some new applications uh, like closures and pumps uh, for various applications in the cosmetics, sanitizers and uh, uh, you know hand washes and all that. That project uh, probably we may take up. Uh, we are actually considering that investment. It may not be very considerable. The idea is to utilize the Spare capacity of the molding machines available, and yeah. to make sure that uh, they are better utilized, uh, even if demand don't pick up in the second and third quarter. So those initiatives are in the final stage. 
but they may not involve more than 5 crores, uh, 5 to 7 crores of investment. So apart from this 5 crores, I foresee uh, about 10 to 15 crores maximum investment this year. So the overall investment will be toned down to the tune of 15 uh, to 18 crores, I guess, as again as originally thought plan of around 30. Okay. And uh, this north plant, um, were you referring to our Kanpur plant or? Yes, Kanpur what? plant. That's what we thought we'll go in in October. And probably another plant uh, near to Chandigarh towards uh, uh, beginning of the next financial year. And that is 21 April, May. But all, both of these we are planning to shift to next year uh, because we need to wait and see how the economy revives and opportunities come up in our way. Okay, and in terms of RAK write-offs, uh, are we uh, uh, still expecting uh, any write-offs from this or is it completed now? No, RAK is uh, totally completed. Okay. There is uh, okay. nothing left over there. There is small collection amount that also we have provided, but the chances of getting it back are also 50%. So if we get that back, actually there will be add back. So we have conservatively taken that right off also because it's more than one year. Okay, and how much time uh, uh, does it take for us to, you know, uh, uh, to pass on the uh, change in raw material cost because consistently from last three to four quarters the raw material prices are coming down. So uh, how much benefit we uh, get and how much we have to pass on to the client? No, generally our uh, um, tendency or the agreements are passed on in a month or in a quarter. So if it is uh, a quarterly review for uh, some clients, it will be done on a quarterly basis. For example, Asian Paints, Mandalays, who are our major clients, uh, it's uh, uh, quarterly. But uh, Castrol, Shell and some other companies, it's monthly. So the benefit, whatever comes while it's coming down, will last only for a quarter. And then we pass it on, and if there is a further reduction, again we will benefit for a quarter, for that extent. And similarly, when it goes up, we lose for a quarter or for a month, and then we gain when they adjust the price. So there is no permanency in benefit or loss, so it evens out. Okay. So, but it is coming. Scenario, the price reduction has stopped. Now, okay. actually, in June they have indicated price increase. So, uh, I don't think uh, now they, there will be any further fall in the raw material prices. But it is consistently going down from last uh, three to four quarters. So, can we assume around 0.5% um, uh, or 1% of the benefit in the gross uh, margin would have been because of this, because every one month benefit we get from this declining of raw uh, I don't think so, because the steep fall which we have seen last year may not repeat. Because last month they've carried the same price or marginally increased some grades. And this month they are talking about 3 rupees price increase. So, in this scenario, it may stabilize, is my guess. You can't take any advantage, I, in my opinion. I am talking about the historic oh, class. Sorry uh, interrupt, Mr. Yeah, I'll come Thank back you. in. Thanks. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Resham Jain from the SP Mutual Fund. Please go ahead. Hey, yeah, uh, thank you, sir. So I have a couple of questions. So first is, uh, uh, given the current situation, you mentioned uh, that uh, we have controlled a lot of costs and uh, we are trying to, uh, uh, basically on the discretionary spending, uh, we, we are trying to control it. So uh, let's say for the next nine months, uh, in case if you have built any scenarios, like if the demand is let's say 20% lower or 10% lower for the next nine months, uh, the EBITDA per kg, what we typically make, and uh, out of that, uh, we have gross profit per kg and all. So how do you see the situation if it is lower by 10%, if it is lower by 20% uh, in terms of operating leverage? Um, the first quarter might end almost... Uh pretty badly because April uh, we did hardly 15% capacity utilization. Um, May yeah. it is close to around 35-40%. Uh, so 40% you can say. And uh, in June 
probably we may hit around 60% so the overall average will be below 40% for the first quarter so that itself right. is a big setback for the entire year uh, because we generally operate around 70 75% at least so which is to 40 means uh, almost uh, 60% a uh, 40% of the uh, revenue loss in the first quarter so even if uh, assuming the remaining 9 months uh, uh, we recover i guess uh, we can there's a possibility if the economic turnaround comes in and because our new plants are now fully geared up in uh, mysore and vaisa uh, if the paint industry also start improving from at least uh, middle of the second quarter uh, probably we may do the next 9 months similar to the last year so still the setback of the first quarter will continue uh, to haunt us uh, but i'll be not surprised if uh, some of the uh, turn around uh, uh, trends in the uh, food and fmcg especially uh, and some of the new products which we are introducing if they catch steam from say august september onwards uh, probably they will uh, give some covering of the loss in the first quarter but uh, i'll be very happy if, even if we can reach the last year numbers uh, at the end of the year okay i was actually asking from 9 months i first quarter obviously 9 months from oh good. awarding the first, first quarter yeah yeah first quarter first. yeah so, so yeah nine that, months, that uh, yeah there is a possibility that we may able to uh, get back the numbers of uh, last year is my guess because whatever growth we anticipated may not happen uh, so it could be flat like if we achieve the last uh, june to march numbers uh, yeah, sorry july to march numbers probably we can hope to do it unless you know there's again this uh, pandemic becomes aggressive or again any uh, shutdowns happen if things go normal hereafter and uh, demand start picking up uh, the next 9 months could be definitely as for last year and sir uh, what will be our gross and net debt number as on march end net debt is a long term debt it is around 20 uh, what is the net debt long term debt In, including sir short term uh, you can say the total is fine a uh, total is around 81 crores in working capital 20 80, 81 80, crores 80. in uh, long term okay so total 101 crores yeah. uh, this is gross number yeah okay okay and sir this year as we have uh, lower capex plan yeah. uh, you expect the next year uh, debt uh, overall number should come down marginally uh, yes at least they will uh, uh, stay put or they will come down marginally especially in the working capital because uh, if the sales numbers uh, uh, remain stagnant uh, the internal cash generation could uh, cover up the some of the working capital borrowing long term debt is 34 crores Sorry, not 20. Okay. So 34 plus 81, is it? 34 plus 81. Okay. And sir, so just one last final question. Is uh, 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 Do we have any exports uh, and is it viable? And uh, also, is export, even the domestic situation, not uh, uh, that great in near term? Do we have opportunistic exports also to prove our utilization? We are having exports to Middle East uh, thanks to our presence in RAQ for the last 4-5 or five years. Some of the clients like Total uh, Lubricants uh, and a couple of clients in Oman, they are still buying from us. Uh, the containers uh, all the way from uh, India we are exporting. Uh, the export numbers have gone up uh, last year to 4.5 crores. Earlier it used to be under 3 crores. So this year we are actually started anticipating to hit almost 7-8 crores exports but again uh, these two months is set back because uh, our clients total have uh, in, in fact enhanced the product range uh, and they proposed to pick up more volumes from april but when situation turned uh, very negative in april uh, there were not many supplies could be affected but the orders are still on and uh, once they start their operations full swing probably some export revenues can go up so on that front, it can only be a net positive in spite of losing this couple of months, but not a very aggressive growth because uh, the transport cost is a killer in our uh, containers. 
uh, they occupy a lot of space so the transport cost beyond going to the middle east will be a challenge so in the middle east yes we hope to do better than last year even using april and may uh, because of our rak clients who would be requiring from indian supply okay okay great sir thank you very much thank you. all the best Bye. thank you the next question is from the line of karan batelia from asian market security please go ahead hi sir thank you for the opportunity yeah. uh, sir if you can like share the numbers for mysore and vizag in terms of volumes and value uh, for q4 and for fy20 as a whole fy20 as a whole mysore and vizag put together we did about 58 crores around 60% from mysore and about 40% from vizag approximately if you want to uh, sorry to interrupt for me not to hear you can you hear me please say you sounding very soft you are talking about my voice uh... yes sir can you hear me now yes sir much better thank you yeah so mysore and vizag put together last year sales were 58 crores out of which you can say approximately 37 37 crores is from mysore and 21 crores from vizag and in terms of uh, volumes in terms of volumes means uh, you have to take it at around 290 rupees per kg so about 2000 tons in mysore and about uh, 1100 1200 tons at vizag approximately Correct, correct. And also, sir, how are things shaping on the Mondelez side? Because we had a pain in couple of quarters. So, how are things shaping up there? Even in this uh, fourth quarter, is generally bad for Mondelez because in summer, uh, sorry, first quarter is generally bad for uh, Mondelez, and uh, in summer the sales drop. Uh, so, in the months of April, May, June, we don't see much movement, uh, worse than last year actually. But hopefully, from the uh, monsoon start, their chocolate sales generally pick up. So, mm. but altogether, not a great uh, prospect there too, because April May two months is gone. Correct. Sir, if I like break up our episode for even you, look, could you like give some numbers from Montelay sales, edible oil, ice cream, and others? Uh, better. That, that would be helpful. Uh, I'll ask Ram Babu to reply to you. Okay. Okay. And one more, if I could go ahead, if you can share the IML, non-IML, and the volume value for FY20. Yeah. Uh, the IML sales have gone to the full year 62 percent, 62.15 from 58.6 in terms of tonnage. In terms of value, from 63.2 to 66.6. sorry 66.3 okay that was 66.3 okay yeah that is remind thank you so next question is from the line of akasha from ams security please go ahead hello yes hello yeah can you hear me uh, i just yeah can you hear me yes yes Yeah, I wanted to know whether we have opted for the moratorium, RBI moratorium. No, we are not seeking any moratorium for any of the payments, uh, neither on the uh, property tax nor on the bank payments. Everything we are on uh, time, and uh, we are actually availing any discounts that are available. So that way, we don't have any cash flow issues. Okay. Can I know what will be the debt that is? Become that is coming due in this financial year and the uh, capex that we plan for this financial year. Thank you for the repayment and yearly repayment. Six sir. Ah, uh, six crores is a long term repayment uh, payable. And uh, as I told you, as of today we have plans of about twelve to fifteen crores investment plan for this year. Five crores already committed. Missions are either on the way or uh, some of them have reached. uh various plants and uh, as i told you we are planning to expand the product range entering into closures and pumps for which some molds and machines uh, are to be procured 
they will be arriving maybe in the second uh, end of this year calendar year towards end of the calendar year so that is a investment plan which is yet to be cleared if it uh, goes through that is another 7 crores and general balancing of another 3 crores is what i am investing so overall we will be limiting our uh, uh, capital outflow to 15 crores this year from 46 last year 46 crores last year to 15 crores in this current financial year so we are continuing with the current uh, expansion plan of the new ca- new product category Yes, yes, we are not stopping any of these uh, projects because uh, the projects of Asian Paints at uh, Mysore and Vijayawada also a marginal expansion was planned. The first phase of marginal expansion machines are already arriving, and the sweet boxes, uh, molds, and robots have been procured. They are arriving. So these are the commitments we already made before March. So they will be arriving any moment. Some of them actually arrived, and the flexo printing machine from Italy also arrived. after some balance payments done in april so overall the investment uh, in this year will continue to make in the tune of 12 to 15 crores uh, which okay. we initially thought of 30 crores including our okay. plan that's great i just i just missed the debt uh, that debt that is coming that is due 24 in 24 crores long term and 81 crores working gap them no how much will be uh, will we have to pay in this year 6 crores 6 crores okay Okay thank you. Yeah. Thank you. The next question is from the line of Shelly Parik from Prabhula Nagar please go ahead. Um good evening sir. I hope you're doing well. Uh yeah. so I had I had a question on aqua food and detergent. Could you tell us what's happening on that front because during quarter 3 you had mentioned you know you have a foreign into body segment. So could you share, uh, you know, if there have been any further developments since then? In what? I miss your uh, aqua food and detergents. Sorry? Aqua foods and detergents, sir. Yeah, that see when the situation is like this, uh, nobody would be shifting from their current packs to little costlier packs, though they appear good. I answered this question earlier. Maybe you are not there. Yeah, no, uh, I don't know. Maybe I missed it, sir. Yeah, yeah. Sorry yeah. For that. Some of the detergent companies who have already adopted continue to buy from us, but the companies which were the verge of shifting during Feb, March, or even January, they were con- contemplating. They are on the hold mode because their operations themselves are uh, still not stabilized. So they won't mm-hmm. be looking at uh, shifting their packaging and uh, end up with uh, some more, uh, you know. blockages so currently shifting from their current pack to others is happen happening only in edible oil where we are noticing some more brands are adding because edible oil packs of our make are robotically manufactured assuring hygiene and uh, uh, you know uh, contamination free containers so there is some push uh, in edible oil uh, segment but mm. somewhere wherever the people are contemplating change Uh, mm-hmm. They are on the hold mode now. Right. But, so this is with regards to detergent, right? That you say. Detergents or aqua, whatever Both. new okay. packs so, where we okay. entered uh, in the previous quarters, people who are ready to jump in now are on the hold because uh, uh, you know their operation themselves are not stabilized. Who will think about uh, new de- new you know developments? Right. Right. And and uh, the other one question, which obviously another participant already asked, is about the breakup of the F and S revenues across segments. As you said, I think it would it would make sense to speak with Ram Babu post the call, right? Yeah, yeah, you can take that. All right. Thank you. Thank you so much, sir. And wishing you all the very best. Thank you. Thank you. The next question is from the man of Kush Joshi from Kitara Capital. Please go ahead. Yeah. Thank you for taking my question, sir. So, so as you guys have failed business, so what is the uh, feedback or what is the outlook of getting from Mysore and Vijayawada plan for 21? Ah, uh, Mysore and Vijayawada what? Uh, the volume uh, numbers. So what uh, commitments we are getting from Mysore Paints for Mysore and Vijayawada plan for FY21? See, there is nothing called uh, anybody giving a commitment in this kind of a pandemic situation. whatever best uh, they are able to sell they will be distributing among the three or four vendors they established near the plants so we are supposed to get around 25 to 30% of the business in both the plants so whatever they could sell in that they will give us that part of it so 
fortunately in june they have given us a major much more uh, uh, percentage of say, uh, business because uh, other suppliers were not really up and going as uh, moltech okay. so they have indicated that they are giving us a higher volume which is now normal for us in any normal month so june is going to be a decent month for us uh, thanks to that Uh, benefit we got, but how it goes in July onwards, I would only be able to comment uh, after a couple of months. And uh, do we so in this financial next nine months, do we see the share of food and FMCG increasing in overall pie, or it will maintain the same? See, in the food and FMCG, one setback I explained is ice creams. Uh, this April, May, June is completely washed out. Uh, actually, in April we could sell to the uh dairy for uh, companies other than ice creams for curds and uh, uh, fast foods in fact we did a uh, fairly decent sale but uh, coming to ice cream it was completely knocked down so keeping that in mind i wouldn't think the overall number for the food and fmcg this year will be crossing last years if we can achieve the last year number i'll be happy for the full year for the full year yeah okay 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 Thank you so much. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the last question. I now have the conference for the next five hours for a closing comment. Ah, uh, hello, sir. Ah, uh, Mr. Rao. Yeah. Ah, uh, sir, so would you like to add any closing remarks? Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you, everybody, for joining us in this uh, conference call today, and for the interest you have shown in our company's uh, performance. Uh, first of all, this pandemic is something unexpected by anybody, and uh, not to this scale of uh, disruption. But uh, I think whatever the government did in controlling it has uh, controlled it to some extent, but uh, definitely impacted the economic conditions in a much bigger way, which is uh, essential. Keeping in mind the interest of uh, people and the population and the lives so please take care and all of you also follow the uh, sanitization and uh, social distancing norms seriously and make sure you and your families stay safe and at moltech i am sure things will turn around i am confident optimistic but uh, the scale of uh, operations how it will turn around cannot be predicted at, at this stage uh, because uh, situations are beyond any one uh thought process are beyond anybody's uh, uh imagination so but let's hope for the best and uh, we are at, at least on a good cash flow situation and we don't be needing any assistance or uh, moratoriums from any of the bankers or uh, uh departments hence uh, operations will be moving smoothly only thing is the demand pick up if the demand pick up happens uh, we can still come back to the normal levels uh from second or at least third quarter onwards and our company will keep doing uh keep looking at new segments new applications for opportunities to sustain the growth and i hope we next time when we meet over the call will be in a much better optimistic mood uh, meanwhile all of you take care and uh, follow the norms to maintain health and uh, safety for all you and your family members wish you all the best Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, on behalf of Ampex Stock Brokerage, that concludes this call. Thank you for joining us, and we will now disconnect. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, Manish. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thanks, sir.